Apologies about the audio throughout this. Uh, basically, the mic that I actually end up mentioning in the video doesn't work very well, so... Yeah, there's that. There's a bit of a buzz. Hey, I'm Adam. Uh, I like to make things and do bits and pieces, all sorts of malarkey. But today, uh, somebody sent me a watch. It's a little smartwatch. They're, it's called U-T-H-C-R-A-C-Y. Mm, crassy. Not entirely sure that pronunciation works or makes sense, but yeah. They sent me a smartwatch that's about 20, 25 quid, depending on what day of the week it is and all that. And it's been two weeks. It hasn't needed a charge, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's down to the last bar now, but uh, yeah, it's still working well. And they're an interesting proposition. I mean, as a thing, I haven't worn a watch in a decade. The last time I did, I was at a skate park, and things didn't go too well. I was not a very good skater and probably shouldn't have been at a skate park. But I really shouldn't have been wearing this metal banded watch of some sort, you know, a sort of half decent, you know, I'm a scumbag to this my watch sort of thing. If you're a kid, you know, you do these things. I fall over, it smashes and it caused at least twenty injuries. I had bits of watch in my like wrist and all the pieces of the band went everywhere and just absolutely ruined the place because you know the second they got under a wheel someone's fallen over someone's fallen into people it was ridiculous but yeah i'm more than once to watch since then it's not bad this i mean it's nice knowing the time uh, it's orange orientated a little bit strangely but it it does as it says, you know, whenever I lift my wrist, it turns on, I can tap it to turn it on. It has a couple of interesting features like being a pedometer, a uh, sleep measure, measure, monitor, uh, whatever you call it. Uh, it doesn't work amazingly as a pedometer, but it does work as a general overview of how much you move, which is to say that the busiest part of the day, according to it, is the bumpy bus ride out to work in the morning. It it works pretty well as a sleep monitor. Uh, the auto sleep's hit and miss because it'll think you're auto sleeping whenever you know you're just not moving very much. But uh, yeah, it actually does seem to you know give you a general vague overview of things. I wouldn't say it's particularly accurate, but comparatively, you can tell what's going on with you know your movements, your life, and everything else. Uh, Charging's dead easy. It actually has a USB Neo sort of plug built into it rather than, you know, having a port on it. It takes about half an hour. Um, yeah, I don't use it that heavily, but two weeks is certainly good enough, I think. I don't really know if it's worth it in the sense that it's 20, 25 quid. You know, is that. Is that a lot? Is that good for, I mean, like, those headphones over there also work on the pedometer. They're about the same price, but they don't tell me the time. I do like the looks, though. You know, I don't, I don't think it's necessarily stylish or the kind of thing I would wear. But I like the fact that it does not have any branding at all on the front of it. It is just a black bracelet and a black watch that really looks I don't know, not sleek. It's pretty thick. I mean, it looks okay. It just, you know, it's just there. It is what it is, and it is not at all intrusive whenever it's not being a watch. It does have on the back of the bracelet, it says I Wown, I W O W N, which uh, is something or other, I guess. But yeah, it's survived the rigors of work. I took a bath with it before checking if it was waterproof. I just forgot I was wearing it because, you know, why would you remember if you're me? But anyway, it survived the bath just perfectly. It, apart from, you know, it, it does have this issue because you can touch it to turn it on. Yeah, if you don't have it in sleep mode, it'll drive you crazy. At least the bracelet flip, or, you know, the, the wrist flip, that cuts off whenever it's in.
in sleep mode. But if your arm touches your other arm or whatever way, yeah, it'll start bothering you by uh, switching on because it gets repeated taps registered by, you know, any old bit of skin. It does the same in the bath, but, you know, it's take your watch off before you get in the bath or you're going to get scrunchy wrists anyway. Uh, yeah, scattered thoughts on the whole on this little watch I've been sent. Uh, I did get it for free. Uh, you get lots of stuff for free on Amazon to review from different sellers. But on the whole, you know, I actually got this microphone and I don't think I've reviewed it yet. Don't know that I would buy one for, actually I, I definitely would buy one for 20, 25 quid. Um, I think I nearly have in the past and just didn't because it's not something equally entertaining for that sort of price. If you're bored and you want to try it out, yeah, sure. Uh, it does SMS sort of reminders, lets you know who's calling and all that. I think it's a smartwatch, like feature phones were smartphones though. You know, it's uh, it's definitely not all there. You could do a lot with it. You know, a lot of it is bound by both what sensors are there, but also whatever the app pushes to it. You know, your phone still drives it essentially, and the app's okay. You know, it's it is what it is. Overall, I like it enough. It works for me. I think. I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't know that it's. I definitely don't need it in my life. But yeah, it looks okay. I am still wearing it after two weeks, though. And that sort of says something about it. You know, I'd have been happy enough just to put it in my pocket and see if it ran out of battery. For you know, the sake of finding out. Yeah. Mm.